What's up guys, Hot Noob here. Um, August 7. So, uh, I was thinking maybe today that I might work on, you know, making that uh, three-point hitch uh, receiver sort of out of this piece, but um, you know, when I was looking at the measurements, you know, I was going to use um, this rear blade as sort of like a, a template to get the dimensions of what I need for making the three-point hitch. Um, only then, I look a closer look at the back of my blade here, and I got some pretty big cracks on the back here, so I think today's project is really just going to be fixing that up, and then, um, then I might get back to this, I think, uh, see how much I get for the day. And, uh, yeah, after that I still want to turn my, uh, hole behind, um, set of discs into a three-point hitch set of discs, so, uh, I'll do that another day. So I'll see how far I get on this, but, uh, for now, I'm going to work on this, um, so, yeah, I'll just do a time-lapse, um, I'm not really going to show the welding because I don't have a special camera or anything, but uh, you know, we'll see if it damages this phone or not. Um, I'll just try to keep this far away enough that I won't really, that it hopefully won't damage uh, the phone as I record. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll get to it. Hopefully the battery lasts because uh, it's a bit cloudy today and this battery is just running off of the solar panel basically. So. All right, so this is kind of what I got. Um, my welder doesn't actually go, like technically it's not supposed to be able to do something this thick. So what I did to compensate alongside with the fact that I haven't actually 
not the best welder. I'm pr still pretty new to welding. Um, so what I did was um, I went along the weld here, just f filled it up. And it appears that it cracked alongside the factory weld, or r right next to it. So, um, yeah, I welded along that, and then I just put some uh, scrap pieces of metal on here just to add some extra support. And that's basically it, really. Um, just did that on both sides. And then while I was welding, I, I was trying to get it out to go as deep as possible. At the same time, I didn't want it to, you know, weld into this piece here. So the blade still moves back and forth. So, um, yeah, I guess next step is I'm just going to paint it a bit. Um, I don't know. It shouldn't take too long to paint it. I might as well just do that now, I guess. And I don't know what time is it. Um, I guess I'll take a break. I'm not sure if we're going to continue on today with uh, the other project or whatever. Um, I mean, it is Saturday, so we'll see. Anywho, now let's get this painted. Hmm. Actually, I'm just remembering I want to get some other things painted too, but um, I'm waiting for some small pieces for that to finish up before. So I'm going to have to set up paint, painting, uh, spray painting later again. So uh, instead of doing that twice, I think what I'm just going to do is going to let that sit and then maybe wrap it up a little bit so it doesn't get wet uh, for now. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the three-point hitch thing today. I haven't been at too long. Maybe I will. So I'm going to take a break and then I guess I'll come back and see about uh, working on that that uh, three-point hitch receiver and whatnot. All right. I think I'm going to get started on trying to make that three-point hitch receiver. Um, yeah. Just do a time lapse again, I guess. Well, that's going to have to be it for today. Uh, I've used up all my batteries. Um, this is kind of why I need to get myself a corded uh, angle grinder one of these days, especially for uh, cleaning up. For cutting, the battery one is all right, but uh, for cleaning up all the rust, uh, definitely need, you know, a corded angle grinder. So um, that's about it. I can All I can do, I guess, for today. Um, I wasn't expecting my batteries to empty so fast, but, uh, yeah. So, um, 
so what I got so far is I managed to get basically one piece cut out. Uh, that was a lot to get one piece because this um, this piece here, looking into it, it's uh, it's rusting from the inside as well as the outside. I was hoping, you know, it wouldn't be this bad, but um, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it, it appears to keep going down and down the, the rust. So... I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have to clean up that piece and take a bit off that piece to make this uh, little upper piece. I mean, what I'm making isn't very that comp very complex, so it's basically just the T like this. Um, and then, I'll, you know, I'll probably take some more square tubing and then put it on the angle uh, since I'm going to have to cut this off. And I don't have any plate that I want to give away or use up, so... When I cut this off, I'm probably not going to keep this piece, so I'm just going to cut right through it, I guess. And um, Yeah, that's kind of the plan for this. Um, I'm probably going to continue this, I don't know, tomorrow or something. Um, I think I got that. This is a little bit deep, but... Uh, um, you know, on the other side, once I cut that off, it is going to technically be reinforced, so that should be all right. Uh, it's a little thinner than I thought it would be, but um, yeah, it should be should be fine. I mean, this was once a vehicle at some point, or the frame of a vehicle, so I imagine like that hitch over there was originally just held up by some thin metal here, even though it bent. Um, I imagine for my needs, like. I'm not going to be really moving fully loaded trailers with this. Um, maybe I want to reinforce it uh, with some scrap metal, you know, later on. But for the most part, my trailers are pretty light, so I should be able. And I'm not going high speed or anything with my tractor when I pull stuff. So, um, although it is pretty flimsy compared to, say, even just the front hitch on, say, this this truck here is quite a bit thicker, much, much thicker and heavier than this metal, so, um, hmm, yeah, I gotta figure out if I want to reinforce this, because this is turning out to be much thinner than I thought, um, I obviously got a bunch of scrap metal, so that's not a big deal, and, whatnot so um i could always i could always double it up as well so mm. i might do that i might double it up Maybe. Mm -hmm. Anywho, uh, I'll continue this off later. Um, this is Hot New Beer. Please subscribe. Actually, you know what? Um... I'm going to change this up. This will be uh, part of the three-point hitch for the discs there. Since the discs are, well, I don't know, less important. Um, I think there's going to be potentially less force on the discs than there is uh, going to be on, say, like, a tra like pulling a trailer or something. So... And combined with, well, there's already some metal here, so um, for this, what I think I can do is I'm just going to cut this off, shorten it a little bit, and then uh, put it a little bit underneath there, and then, um, then I can have the three-point hitch right here, and uh, that'll gain extra strength by this thick stuff here, so the, the strength of the... The tube that I put there will be less, really, like, less of a problem. Um, 
Yeah, I think that'll be the way to go. And um, that should still give me enough clearance so I can leave, sorry, this tube here. Or, you know, I could potentially just move this further down as well. Um, there's no reason for this to be so long. So, um, and then I can keep this drawbar uh, portion. So I can still use it by drawbar if I really wanted to and three-point hitch. So um, I think that's going to be the plan uh, for that. And then for my hitch receiver, um, I have some stronger like scrap metal tubing. I was just, you know, it would be nice. Like this one piece of scrap, I kind of like thought there was no value in it. But uh, oh, well, I got more scrap over here. Um, that came in with the same lot anyways, so I'm still running on $20 of scrap here, so. Um, yeah, I got some much thicker pieces here that I can use, so I'll go with that route. Like, I got some thick square tubing here, and I'll just use that instead. Um, it's about the right size as well, and it's, it's quite a bit thicker, so... Um, yeah, I'll go, I guess that'll be the plan. And then the, this blade here, so this giant bucket blade, um, I'm just going to use that for, for where I bolt in or where, you'll see anyways, um, where I put the hitch pins in through and whatnot. So that'll be my flat bar. Anywho, this is Hot New Pier. Please subscribe.